Hi there, I'm Kate I'm from Be It One Healing and I'm an energy medicine practitioner. I'm qualified in emotion code, body code and healing remembered practitioner and group facilitator. Um, and I just created this video to tell you a little bit more about the things I offer which you can also find out about on my website. So first off I do individual sessions, so these could be for yourself or they could be for your horse um, or they could be a bit of a mixture <clears throat> depending on what the issue is. So um, for example you might come to me for a physical issue that's going on with your horse. Um, so. The majority of energy we clear might be related to your horse but there might be something where uh, your energy is involved so we will clear that as well and also as an owner we can always we always worry about our horses so we can clear any worry energy there which can help you feel more relaxed and more positive about the situation or we can do an in-depth session for both you and your horse so that's also a possibility <clears throat> so if you wanted to move forward with uh, a session um, you can either book an intro call with me to have a chat about what's going on and the best way to move forward or if you're ready to go and you'd like to arrange a session you can fill out the form on my website I just ask for a bit of information about you and your horse and about what's going on at the moment and what will happen is I'll arrange a specific today to do your session on and I I do all my work via distance so you don't need to be you know block out a time in your diary it will just happen um, on the day that we arrange and you don't need to be doing anything specifically like lying down if it's for yourself or, or your horse doesn't need to be doing anything specifically um, and once I've completed your session on that day I will email you through your notes and an audio explaining the things we've released and if there's anything any sort of um, recommendations or anything like that. Um, I also say that it's just best not to have a session on a day that might be particularly stressful so for yourself if it was you know work or something like that or for your horse or you and your horse where there might be you know, lots of travel or you might be competing or something like that you, it's best not to have it on that day. And also, it's best not to have it on a day <clears throat> when you've got other uh, energy, other sort of healing modalities going on like uh, chiropractor or equine masseuse or same for yourself um, uh, or veterinary treatments like a vaccine update or anything like that. So um, during a session, I sort of work on a need to know basis and that means, you know, we might uh, bring something up um, you know like a trauma from the past or, or something that's gone on um, and I always ask do we need to know more about this if we don't I don't dive deeper so I don't get any sort of gory details um, and then we just release what, whatever comes up that, that can be cleared at that time um, and you know, if I'm working on your horse, whilst this isn't an animal communication session, sometimes they do want to share something with you, so I'll, I will share that and pass that information on. After a session for you or your horse, you might have some processing symptoms. If you've had an energy healing before, you might be you know, you're used to this. Just sort of things coming up out of the energy body and sort of releasing for you. So that could be things like um, a slight headache or uh, feeling a bit tired or a little bit more emotional than usual. Um, it might be sort of very slight, you might feel nothing at all. Um, with horses, they tend to process a lot better than us humans uh, because they find sort of letting things go a lot easier. Um, you may notice a change straight away or it might be a more gradual change over a few days or a few weeks and you know it really depends on what's been going on for you and your horse and whether it's been going on you know how long it's been going on for because things take a long time to actually manifest physically so there can be sort of several layers to, to unwrap um, if there are uh, issues uh, underlying. <clears throat> 
Um, okay, so other ways we can work together, I have a, um, a chakra and cord clearing session for you and your horse. Um, this is a, a really powerful session to balance your energy centers, which can be related, which are related to specific organs and, and glands in the body. And also clearing energetic cords. These are cords we can have with other people, other animals, which can influence our emotional state, our behavior, our horse's behavior, um, and also physical state. They can sort of contribute to possible illnesses and things. And um, cords are something I'm specializing in and I find very fascinating. So that's a powerful session for you and your horse where we will work on your energy centers and clear any cords and you'll get a comprehensive report talking you through all the things that we've worked on. Um, another way we can work together, I do uh, geopathic stress clearings for your land or your home that either you know you might be living on with your horse or your horse might live somewhere else but I can clear um, either or or both. Um, that's something else I do. Also, I do, I'm starting group energy clearing sessions. So these are really powerful sessions where you have five days worth of energy clearing in the quantum field. And these are uh, specifically for people, but what you can do is group the um, energy clearing with your animals and your animals will receive up to 100% benefit of that. So you can actually be having sessions on yourself and your animals are also being worked on and i'm a really big sort of um yeah i'm really passionate about how us as people need to be the healthiest we can be in order for our animals to be the healthiest they can be because everything is a reflection of us so if our animals aren't great then potentially there's something going on for us as well that might be um, might need looking at um, and you know we really do need that balance of we, a lot of people put so so much effort into helping their animals and um, making sure they're healthy they have the best food everything like that which is amazing but we also need to be doing that for ourselves so that there's balance there and everybody can be in that healthy healthy um, high vibration and that leads me on to talking about my book that I'm writing, which goes into this, and it's about energy healing for you and your horse, where I teach you techniques to be able to, to, to do that, uh, basically teach you what I do. Um, and that book is called The Path to Sovereignty, and if you want to hear any updates about that book, you can sign up to a, a newsletter on the webpage on my website. And if you have any other questions, you can contact me through the contact tab. Thanks very much.